Hello everyone, I'm Hugo. That was a weird pause. Was it a weird Once pause? Once you see that happen, it's on. You're just on there. Okay, well, we're here to do another PO unboxing. We got lots oh. of stuff this time, actually. We do. And a large box, too. I like when we get really big, girthy packages. We got we got a girthy boy. Uh, I don't know who this is from. Uh, it doesn't say on the package, I don't think. Yeah. But, uh, as always, uh, ask us questions or anything in the chat or whatever. We, yeah. of course, do Super Chats. We'll get to all of those, and we'll try and get to other stuff as well as we yeah. go. The Super Chats ping us so we can see it. So, uh, someone said once, you only read comments if you pay. They didn't pay to send that comment, and I read it. Calm down. If you don't want to pay, it, ask an interesting question. Right, it just helps us. It helps us out. Thank you for supporting. Whether or not you pay us. Where is your Space Jam? I need to get it. This is actually for... I need this. Everyone uh, go to Twitter and send at the... At Hugo Reloaded. Send me like a tweet like, Where's the Space Jam review? I need those for the review. Okay, this one's from Michael. You can open that. Good. Hooray. Michael, oh, I was going to say, don't say his name. name. I don't, don't know why I was going to do, do that. that. That's not something to be fair. To, to be fair. Thanks for the package. Let me dox you immediately. Given given his information, I can't imagine you'd find him. But, uh... I have his address. I can find well, him. Well, you can find him. He's a patron. I hope we can find him. Oh, man, that'd be a really good serial killer scheme, by the way. Actually, I don't know if he's a patron. If you become, like, a YouTuber or anything, whatever. Draw comics on the internet. Whatever. That have, would... a, have a Patreon. That's not... Get people's information. That's not good. Serial you... kill him. No, immediately they'd be like, oh. They'll, oh. Ca they'll be like, what's the connection? You've well, seen you've seen a movie before? Come on. It'll make a good season of American <laughs> Crime Story. Anyway. Are you kissing now? Uh, what? Do we kiss? No. That looks like a serial killer wrote it. It does. Dear Hugo and Jake. I don't know why. This puts me off how he wrote this. Dear. Colon. Hugo. And Jake. I don't know why. It's also printed. Yeah. I mean, you could just you could just show this. Uh, hold on. Here is well, a fun way to troll the pro-Trump, pro-Alex Jones. Oh, God. Conspiratards. Just, yeah, you see how that's written? Yeah. Oh, Alan. Do you need me to call in? We're good right now, Paul, <laughs> but I appreciate you. And then, you can call uh, me on my phone if you want at some point. Although, I'm streaming right now. I hope this isn't <laughs> anthrax. Why do you... Why Why did you... I have a... Okay. How many Golden Girl shirts do you have? Just this one. It's just... Like, it's in my rotation. I have, I have shirts in my closet... My girlfriend... <laughs> They're dollar bills that say when will Trump investigate Building 7 on them. Wow. Okay. What are they gonna... What are they gonna do? Okay, so I, thanks, actually... actually, Thanks for the five dollars that I can... I, none of us can ever spend. No, because I, it would be embarrassing to put this no, even into a vending machine. No, I actually... I actually want to, like, put these around. Oh my god. That's kind of funny. A couple of these are quite crisp. You are... It's right in front of you. Just take a second to... I haven't been working on the Space I, Jam god review damn enough, it. so my basketball skills I aren't fucking, on point. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for the... Uh, when will Trump investigate Building 7? <laughs> oh, and it says Infowars on the side. Yes, it does. Solid. Uh, Brandon Higgs. How much money for Jake to lick Hugo's tooth gap? Not that much. Not no two dollars. No amount. I don't know. Enough ten, for me to cash out. $10,000 and, $10, and I will lick his tooth. I'm talking private island cash out. Oh, that's that's way too much. That's way too... No. Yeah. Not, you're not that expensive. It would, it would require someone like Bill Gates to have no, a very wouldn't. specific fetish. Your, your I want to suck a dick was like $100, but if I lick your tooth gap... It's because it's you. No, it's not. Yeah, a little bit. No, it isn't. How much would it take to suck my dick? A hundred bucks. I, See? You're I gay as shit. No, it's that's again, fine. that's you though. I don't want to suck your dick. I don't want you to suck my dick, but, like, someone gives you a hundred dollars, I guess that's where we're at. Hugo and Jake been... Warthing? Watching, probably. No, it's watching. Been watching you guys for years. Love what you do. Found these at my grandma's house and thought they might that you might get a kick out of them. Thanks. Take care, Christina. I'll save your note. If I Were a Jew by Robert G. Lee. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, I, we need to know what's in this book. What? 
Okay, so... Wait a second. Yeah. Oh, this is actually like a book book. This isn't... It's like a real small... It's like a little tiny itty bitty baby book, right? And then uh, on the inside, uh, not poems or anything, just words. So uh, on the back is a small poem if you'd like to read that out oh, loud. Oh, I'd love to read it. Oh, and then there's Roman Catholicism uh, scripturally analyzed as well. If I were a Jew, Robert G. Lee. Robert G. Lee. No relation. Dodged a bullet. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's two later. Oh. It's an alphabet joke. Shut up. Persecuted. Plagued. Hated in the name of God, yet indestructible, and major contributors to every area of culture. This is the Jew, a living demonstration. The Jew. That's what it says. A living demonstration of the sovereignty of God. Here is a biography of the Jew and how he can find the true Messiah. Aye, aye. This is how to convince Jewish people to become Christians. Is it though? Yeah. Because. It's a little apologetic pamphlet on how to talk to your Jewish friends about finding Jesus. Mm, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Good yeah. job. Think uh, this guy morphed if into I Jews were, for Jesus? If I were a Jew, I would give serious thought to the good news of the Messiah. Would you, though? I Because you'd be Jewish. <laughs> I don't think you would. I think you'd be like, nah, not the Messiah. Prophet. Maybe we'll read those sometime. Get some interesting snippets. Snippets. Alright, got some more stuff. Joey Jojo says, Damn it, I missed the funny stuff. From now on, there's no more jokes for the rest of the video, yeah, apparently. that's it, Joey. This is where it stops. Joey Jojo. Here you go, bud. Here's one. Okay. I like this one a lot. This is great. This one has a, a this... gold wax seal. I didn't notice. I would have handed you that. No, that's mine. I just want to see it. I no, don't... that's mine. I just want to see it. Ooh. This is nice. This is nice. Like cardstock too. I don't want to show his. Address, I guarantee. But... I guarantee. I guarantee. There's some nice. Uh, oh, this guy's from Vegas. There's some Neato. nice stationery in there. If it doesn't smell bad, I'll be very happy. <laughs> uh, we should get a letter opener. No, if we get a letter opener, you know what I'll do? Cut the shit out of my hand. Yeah. Oh, uh, we got that. Actually, uh... do we have a knife? No. I have to show off my cool knife skills this episode. What the fuck are you talking about? You know how I normally open the knife or open the knives, open the packages with the knife very willy nilly, yeah, and people feel it's dangerous. Yeah, I disagree. I don't. I don't have a knife. All I have the scissors. Okay, they're they're exacto scissors. Scissors? Exacto scissors though, <laughs> and they're great. There's a note that says Hugo and Jake with a little heart, and then it says. Hi, I have been watching your videos since 2014, and I feel the quality is very much improved. I especially like the videos on Peterson. It is good to reach out to people before they get to the... get too entrenched in that very conservative mindset that has dressed up something new. I don't really think these boys understand how dangerous religious conservatives can be for LGBTQ people. Conversion therapy is still not banned, and if you are stuck in a religious community, it is dangerous. I have a friend in Florida that is forced to be closeted because of her religious family and community. If she came out, she could easily be killed. My girlfriend, who is out as trans in California, constantly gets harassed and told to kill herself just for being out uh, in public places. I am... Pre I'm... I'm prevented... I am? I am prevented... I I am prevented myself also from being out due to the conservative environment here. It is good that you are doing uh, as it could stop someone from hating trans people. Also, uh, enjoy the art and sorry for the bad handwriting thing. Your handwriting is about the same as mine, actually. When no. I re opened it, I was a little bit like, eh. No, I can read this. Okay. There's the... What, what art did we art? There you go. Neat. It's a cool, uh, bleedy eye thing. A a bleedy eye thing? A I, bleedy eye... I, I choose skull. to interpret it as bleedy eye. Bleedy eyes. So we're going to put that right in there. That should stick just fine. I'm going to open this really nice envelope. Actually, this is so nice, I'm going to call it an envelope. Wow. Yeah, I know. So I'm going to... I wish I had... I wish I had that letter opener you were talking about earlier. Let's... Now this has two seals. That seal and your seal of approval. Three. Because it's also glued normally. Like a normal letter. Oh, we're almost there. 
we're gonna do this correctly. We're gonna you gotta fish your fingers down in, in the in the slit. This goes for more than this. And then you, you push in and you find the good spot and then pop. Oh fuck nice. man. Oh Okay, this actually isn't a uh, really nice card. I think I know what this is. Is this the wedding invitation from those people? Dearest Hugo and Jake, what kind of an asshole would I be if I didn't invite my two favorite YouTubers to my wedding? I realize it's the longest of long shots, but if you find yourselves in the Vegas area in November, please stop by and enjoy our nuptials. Anyway, I love you guys more than pizza. Keep up the great work. Love always. Uh, Brendan, Brian, Brian, at, uh, Brian Janae? P.S. The Jordan Peterson stuff is great. Fuck the haters. There's Ooh. not a lot of them. Congrats but they on are, the wedding. they are a loud minority. That is, that is very nice. Um, I don't want to invite a bunch of people to your wedding. <laughs> you so I was going to show how nice this was. Here, I'll block some stuff. It's just real nice. Yeah. It's just, look at how nice that is. Um... But uh, we're going to have, ooh, a little Italian grill and seafood. Uh, oh, this is happening. That, that's straight up directly inside of, of Las Vegas. That's not like a suburb. That's like, let's go find some, some hookers. Vegas. Okay. I'm not opposed to coming to Vegas. We have to RSVP by September 1st. Maybe. We'll decide by then. It's not out of the question. I've... I've never actually been to Vegas. I haven't either. Of course I haven't. I, I don't go like, anywhere. I would, <laughs> I would like to go. Is there something other than packages? Because usually we do the letters first. Yeah. Uh, got some lighter looking stuff. Okay, how about we do these two lighter ones and then we'll do that. Ooh, what's this? I'm sure you need this. This is from... I don't know who, who it's from. It looks like a DVD though. Feels like a DVD. Hugo did 9-11. I was seven. That adds up. I was in seventh grade. Nice. Oh, Steven Universe! Steven Universe! I like Steven Universe. This is, uh... I'm still trying to find the, the information on here. This is... I, I think it was it was posted straight from a, a from a Amazon company. to here. So if this was you, thank you very much. I don't have any of your information, but Steven Universe, I've met, I've not watched it, but I um, what's the other one? Uh, Adventure Time, Gravity Falls. Gravity Falls. Yeah. Gravity Falls is the one that uh, I look at very often and haven't watched. Uh, this one doesn't. <laughs> Paul Allen. Does it include the Paul Allen as well? Get your own friends, Paul. Yeah, Paul. You can definitely pay for me to go to Vegas, though, if you want. <laughs> I can't. Honestly, I cannot imagine having Paul around for a Vegas trip. Shit would get weird. Okay, this one does have information, it seems. Oh, we, we got a chick track. Uh, a little soggy. Formerly soggy. The Last Rites. Oh, that's going to be good. That's going to be good. Dear Hugo and Jake, greetings from the land of Pat Robertson. I've been enjoying your videos, especially your movie reviews, for years. Enclosed are two things I picked up and thought of you. The first is a chick tract I found in the New Age section of the bookstore I work at. The second is a 700 Club film called The Quest for God. Um, I figure you've taken on the likes of Ray Comfort, so it's time for you to take on Pat Robertson. Winky face. I'm surprised we've never covered any 700 Club stuff. We should do that after are, Jordan Peterson. Are you up for the challenge? Sincerely, I believe that says Sabrina. Sabrina? Yeah. What a fantastic signature, regardless of what that actually says. Can you see that? Look at that. I love that penmanship. Oh, God. What a, what a, just a, that's a sexy S. Uh, so here's the DVD itself, as I save that letter. Um... It was put together, was this in the 90s? No, this is 2011. Oh. This looks like uh, like a Pearl Jam CD. <laughs> Pearl Jam's <laughs> good. It just, you know, their old CDs are, uh, the designs are very dated. Or it looks like, uh, have you ever seen the, um, the music video for Black Hole Sun? No. Oh, it looks like the music video for Black Hole Sun. Hey, look, there's a cat. Oh. I have a cat. 
This is Ellie. She loves me. She likes beards. Yeah. You guys like cats? It's the internet. Well, everybody loves cats on the internet, right? Mm, good portion. Good. Except the ones that think they're cats. Super chat for the cat, saying. <laughs> Super uh, chat the cat. Ever watched Touched by an Angel? Ever? Someone has, I've seen Touched by an Angel. I was a fan of Touched by an Angel, but only because I'm a big fan of, like, Incredible Hulk Quantum Leap type shows. Main, there's a cast, and then every episode they go somewhere and, like, fix someone's problem. <laughs> of course it's terrible, but, you know. Okay. Whatever. This and one's... one of the and the dad from that show turned out to be a pedophile, I think, in real life. Okay, these are... Ow! <clears throat> the word I was going to use is both equally heavy, and then I dropped one on my toe. This one's larger, and this one's priority mail. Which one would you like? This one looks easier to open. <laughs> It's a, it's a little bit of a meme around the house that Hugo can't open shit. It's funny. It's manga. God mm. damn it, weebs! Manga! No! At least you said manga. And not manga? I said manga for years, thinking that's what it was. And then I got uh, brutally corrected at a college. Oh, there's a note. A note? Sorry. Oh, no, this is just Amazon. Oh, no, there is. Enjoy the anthrax, bitch. I think you saw my comment on the unboxing video, but the Dragonzord that goes with that Megazord comes out in August. Look up Soul of Chokakin GX78 Dragonzord figure for picks. I can pre-order it for you guys if you want. If you get me the Dragonzord so I can play Megazord with Hugo, I will upload an hour-long video of us just sitting on my floor, on my coffee table, playing with Megazords. With very little commentary besides, pew, pew, Jason. Jesus. We got a super chat. Super chat from Steven Star Vapor. This is my thanks for saving me from religion and causing me to pursue science. Not much, but thank you. Hey, when you're a scientist, you can give me an honorary degree. That's fine. Uh, they said a bunch low of energy videos. I like that. Okay, that's good. Uh, uh one one uh, is that a pound? Yeah. No. Is that a euro? Euro. It's a euro. Appreciate you. Hi, Hugo and Jake. Look at all my gift notes. One for each book. I may as well use them all. From Steven. I promise there's none of the dumb anime bullshit that tunes most people out in this series. I'm very skeptical of that. I believe... I don't trust anything you read backwards. Do you read it backwards? Yeah, manga. It's because uh, it's made in Japan. In Japan, you read le uh, right to left, not left to right. So. Oh, that's right. So it is... Oh, God. Same reason no one likes hentai. It's very confusing. Anyway. Uh, I've really been loving this series, and I think it has not got enough attention. If you guys like it too, maybe you could do a review on Unpop. Uh, it's also getting an anime ad adaption. Here's the hoping it's good. I've seen some bad adaptions. The Promised Neverland. I don't know what this is about. I can just take those. Okay. I'll take uh, I'll take all those all those little little pieces. There we go. This, this actually, this priority box, it came with another priority box inside of it. This is from Sophia. Pull tab to open. Is that new? That didn't work at all. You fucking lied to me. I'm gonna do this it's instead. new. They're still prototyping it. Don't worry about it. Uh, nothing opened. Not a thing opened. Joe Cav Cavallo, uh, 299 is Super Is it Chat. Cavallo? Cavallo? I don't know. Yeah, Jake probably. going to be reading the whole New Testament? Yeah. I'm Reed Guy now. Hugo suffered long enough. We were supposed to, the original intent for that whole series was to flip back, was and, to forth. Flip back and forth. And I actually, there is a recording, actually, it's probably, I probably deleted it at this point. I There was a recording of me reading the second episode of TBR, um, but it was on the laptop mic that we did the very first episode with, and then so we redid it. They're the only two episodes we ever actually redid, if I remember correctly. Yep. And uh, so, now we're doing it. Okay, this is from Sophia. These books go along with my other package. The one with all the, the Christian kids' books. Oh, is that Sophia as well? Mm hmm Oh. Martha F of California and Carolina's Courage. I'm trying to see... These look I... like young women novels that you'd... Um, like, may maybe they'd be available at your library... And you'd do a book report and you'd get, like, little points. You remember that shit? They're Rebecca books, which are the 
this is when I went to that really, really religious school. These are, the, these are the books they use oh. to teach you to read. I don't know what that... Oh, okay. It's a, it's a religious publishing company. They do all, like, religious textbooks. For instance... This is from Journey Forth, so this is not the same thing. Uh, there's a book from them that I want to get. Oh. It's on Amazon, and I want to cover it at some point, because I know I did it um, when I was in elementary school. Did you? They didn't have science books. <laughs> what they have are... What they have are understanding God's world books. That's, oh. what, that's what you read in your science class. And if I remember correctly, it's just full of crazy nonsense. So I'd love to cover that at some point. Paul, I was checking into a hotel. What did I miss? I like to imagine what Paul... Like, he's just checking into a hotel. What's he doing? Where'd he go? Where's he traveling? I don't know. Paul he was, was a in, mysterious man. He was in Pennsylvania recently. I don't know where he's at now. I'm, could be anywhere. Could be another Sylvania. Could Martha be a pattern. Is, Mar Transylvania. Martha, is your mom's name too? Are you Batman? Batman's mom's name is Martha. Did you know that? Maybe you didn't know that. It was tough to it was tough to uh, understand. I have a I have an idea of what this is. And you might now, since you're holding it. There you go. Maybe not. Here you go. I know. Who is this from? Uh from William. William I don't want to cut into it if it's oh. like a cloth thing. Alright. Nope, I do need that, I think. Eh, eh, wait, can I undo it? I need the scissors. Yeah. I accept this. Okay, alright. I didn't want you to cut me. Hey. Thanks. I'll prep I'll prep it. No, oh, I didn't know what this was. What the hell's going on here? Do we get scarves? Here we have a note. Here we go. Ooh, it was just, this was typed on a typewriter. Uh, is it the same typewriter guy? I think so, William. Dear Hugo and Jake, I've been getting into knitting, so I thought it would be fun to make scarves and send them to you. I'm also really enjoying your commentary on JBP. He seems like he does his thing mostly for the money, which is a pretty scummy thing to do. I saw another video seeing if they could make a case that JBP fans are a cult, and while the conclusion was that it's not a cult, the fans certainly act to defend their dear leader like a cult. I hope that you read the good comments from the crazies. I hope you enjoy the scarf. Sincerely, it is again, William. I get, just feel this paper. It's just, it's always so nice. Right? That's good ass paper. It is good paper. That's great paper. Is it too hot for, I don't scarf, so. Ooh, these have insides. You just... It's not about the temperature, it's about looking fabulous. Do you put your arm in, I don't in think the so. scarf? Why not? Because that's... No, that... what if I want just one sleeve for my day-to-day -day activities? You're covered. Like, if, if, I, if I, you know, like I'm driving and it's wintertime and I want the window open, I can... Right? And if my hand gets cold, taken care of. There's already goddamn. Thanks for the sleeves, there's, there's William. dog hair on this too. Thanks there's for the hair sleeves. everywhere. In it house. could be his fucking dog. I don't know. I don't think so. I have no idea. Anyway. Uh. Ooh, it is warm though. Don't wear the scarf. Oh, this is from Chick Publications. <laughs> Interesting. Oh yeah, I opened last one. Never. I just had to help you. Yeah. That's okay. Did I'm I just doing my best. Did I order this myself, or did someone else order us Chick Tracks? Uh. Because I order Chick Tracks from this place every single month. But I, it comes they could have sent us a book or something. Oh, it's they definitely not Tracks. Oh, no. <laughs> this is The Evolution Handbook. A powerful book, which is unanswerable. Thousands of scientific facts disproving every basic area of evolutionary theory. I'm gonna crack this open right now. Do you need help? No, I got it. You got it. You got it. I believe in you. That's that's probably not good on on your part. I think there's enough evidence to back up that you shouldn't believe yep. in me. Oh god. Someone asked who the what the PO box was earlier. Go ahead and grab a, a pen and paper real quick. Go 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 go. Or use your phone. Text it to your best friend. Use a memo. Are you ready? Are you ready? Here it is. 
P.O. Box 6544, Saginaw, Michigan, S-A-G-I-N-A-W, 48608. That's... Look at how obnoxious this is this, printed. This sleeve is hot. It's like your crazy uncle who doesn't understand caps lock wrote a fucking book and the whole thing is like this. Yep. Look at this. It's randomly capitalized. The whole... the whole book. Yeah. Or and, bolded. And bolded. That's great. Oh, God. That's the most wonderful thing. Let me look to a random page. Fruit flies to the rescue. Uh, Walter S. Sutton, an American cryptologist, decided that there might be some connection between Gregor Mendel's... I don't care. <laughs> I'll parse out some good stuff from that later, and we'll do something on it. There you go. I haven't, I Started. Haven't, Actually, we haven't read anything from the Chick publications other than the Chick tracks. It's probably time to start diving into the bigger uh, comics and stuff. After Jordan B. Peterson, we'll do some other other long form shit like that. Yeah. Do you want this again? Here you go. I got you, bro. Ooh, a a package inside a package. Hello, Hugo and Jake. That's us. I'll read the note first. Pull it in. Long note. Hugo, you can do it! You're getting a lot of support from Cassowary. I'm going to read the actual note after this, but it's really long, so I'm going to read it on the back because he literally put his own summary on a the back. A summary, okay. A summary if you cannot read my cursive. I can, but I'm going to read the summary just for brevity's sake. <laughs> Thank you for the facts and fun over the last four plus years. I hope that this wacky MP3 player I saw driving... During Star Trek, hopes your atheist Bible study, or at least amuses you, for ten minutes. Keep up the good work, and thanks again. Jesus Christ, Superstar. It's signed, Jesus Christ, Superstar. P.S. I noticed that you also live in Michigan. We should meet up if you're ever in the Auburn Hills area. I'll buy you lunch. Uh, and that's from Clyde. Thanks, Clyde. I'll read the actual note later. Uh... Super chat. <laughs> Super chat from Jesse JJ Yummy. I don't have much, but I saved this up to send to you guys. You helped me with the guilt my private school forced me into for being a lesbian atheist. Keep rocking. Well, you didn't have to give us all of it if it took a long time to save up, but I appreciate it nonetheless, and I'm glad that we could help. This is actually really fucking funny and cool. What uh, is it? It's a little thing where you just type in, like, the chapter. Or the It's the whole Bible, but audio, and you, like... Press buttons to get to the place you want to be at. As opposed to, like, an e-reader, which are, like, $30 now. <laughs> if you get one of the black and white ones. <laughs> That's funny, though. I like my Bible when I gotta charge it. Really well-made instruction manual, though. That's that. I think this is, like, laminated and everything. Look at that. They want you to keep this instruction manual and know how to use it, because they know it's all old people. I don't people, even understand. Right? It's so weird. Wonder Bible. Is it charged right now? Oh, yeah. It's because it has all the codes to, to put in all the... Uh... Oh, my God. Ugh. Why was Hugo reading? Okay, just uh, because we just did it, uh, why don't we do uh, Matthew? Hold on. How do you turn the phone? Got a nice oh, little. I'm sorry. You hear that? Hold on. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm gonna get two zero one zero zero one. Chapter Matthew chapter one. The book of the generation of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. And Abraham begat Isaac, and Isaac begat Jacob. This and guy Jacob could be read Judas guy from now on. <laughs> and Judas begat Phares, and Zerah of Thamar. And Phares begat Ezrom, and Ezrom begat Aram, and Aram begat Aminadab. And Aminadab begat... Uh, all right. I can just imagine an old, on, like, blue-haired lady, like, just sitting down, like, yeah, is the this future. An, is this an SD card? Yeah, that's probably what the Bible is stored on. What the on. fuck? The whole Bible is on this SD card. Praise Jesus. Alright, I'm gonna dick with this later for sure. <laughs> oh god, stop it! Evie Harris says, uh, big gay energy. 
great. Hey, thanks. Paul also said he wanted to meet him too. I think he meant the the wedding person. Just making sure. Um, but Paul did two dollars too, and I didn't want to miss him. N Z. Oh, that was ten New Zealand dollars. Um, if you're a lesbian. Um, from New Zealand, you should, uh, watch that stand-up on Netflix that just came out. What's it called? The fuck is it called? No, she's a lesbian comic, and she has, she has a really, really good, like, uh, message. Uh, fuck. Is it the one where it's, like, build not Nanette. Mess- watch Nanette on, on, uh, on Netflix. It's a really, really good stand-up special. If you haven't seen it already, I think you will, it will resonate with you. Okay, we're gonna pull this one out. Oh! This is the one from before when I was like, hey, if it's fragile, send it with fragile yeah, on it. Yeah, see here, are the, the, yeah, these are the so, other Becca books. Yeah, there's, we're just, so this, this box, this box just got ravaged by, by your lack of care and love. John Izzelli, 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 I would invite you to my 20th anniversary, but my wife isn't into orgies. Understanding God's world. Okay, I'm gonna, it's in here. I don't even have to buy it. I'm gonna grab it for you. Ugh. Why America and my America and my world by Whiteman. I what? I think I had this like Walt White. Hey, look, this is a this is a workbook that's been used. This is a workbook that got all the way to the hymns and then got used. Here Here's you go. a good one. Theology of the Body for Teens. The- Whoa, buddy. Discovering God's Plan for Love and Life. It's an abstinence okay, please don't book. fact. Uh, the Day Jesus Died with some illustrations from Arch Books. Oh, uh, look. Look, there's some there's some folks. Let's, do they stab him? There isn't a single illustration in this sex ed book. Nope, there's no actual gore in this. Like I don't a, want it. I knew they'd be like, don't fuck, but I didn't think they'd be like, we can't tell you what vast deferens are. <laughs> like, what? Okay. This is from Grandfather Mountain. We got a postcard with no writing on it. That's okay, though. Uh, complete, the Holy Bible, complete King James Version of New, Old, New and Old Testament, narrated by Stephen Johnson. Did he narrate the entire Bible? Oh, my God. 70 hours! Who narrates We don't need this. We already did it. This is this is our job. Yeah. This is this is exactly what we do in DVD form. Okay. So this is the science book for second grade that I was talking about. I had this exact book. Keeping clean. Keeping clean is my job. No one should enjoy being dirty. When God designed my skin, he put tiny holes in it called pores. <laughs> he put tiny holes. My skin breathes through these pores. Oil comes through them to keep my skin soft and my hair shiny. When I get hot, sweat comes through my pores to keep my body cool. All of this is part of God's wonderful plan for my skin and hair. The whole book is like this. It's like, here's a thing that maybe you need to learn as a second grade or whatever. God! It's really weird. This has, this is all written in it, too, by the way, so we can critique the second graders' um, work like the assholes we are. What are two important things do you get when you exercise outside? Fresh air and sunshine. Sunshine kills some germs? That's not true, right? Sunshine kills some germs? They got 100%. That's the correct answer as far as the book is concerned. Germs? Sunshine kills germs? They did it, I guess. What? It's a little reductive, but sure. I, fuck it. I'll, I'll accept the fact that they had some germ action going on. Oh, we got a little bit of Jesus, boy. We got a little Jesus at your door. I had that growing up, too. Did Here. you? Here mm. you go. It's all yours. We got a little bit more stuff. Oh, these are VHS tapes. Are you excited? Got a little VHS action. Not missing anybody, right? Nah, I'm good. Let him in, Hugo. Okay. Ooh, this is a Bug's Life. On VHS. It looks like it's... No, it's that's all the way around. And then uh, a VHS, a green one, of VeggieTales. God wants me to forgive them? I think this is just a Bug's Life, like, recorded off TV. I, this isn't yeah. even, like... Could you have recorded ants? I'm more of an ants guy right, than a because, Bugs Life guy. Because if you'll notice, it's it's just 
That's written in Sharpie. <laughs> That's great. Got a little bit more. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, fuck. Okay. Okay. So, oh, a little sticky. A little sticky. Not very happy about that. Adventures in Odyssey. <gasps> this is from Focus on the Family and yeah. sponsored by Chick-fil-A. Welcoming Wooten. Wooten? I liked Adventures in Odyssey as a kid. Adventures in Odyssey. Prank for pranks for the memories. Presented by Chick-fil-A. Big Ideas VeggieTales, the gift of friendship. We got two of those. Same one. <laughs> okay. And then uh, Chick-fil-A presents uh, Learn How to Speak German. Chick -fil -A. Obviously. Chick-fil-A's branding is a little odd. <laughs> From time to time. Okay. All right. Oh, shit. Hmm. Okay, someone took the time to annotate. He took the time to annotate all of this. Jesus Christ! Dear Uncle Hugo and Papa Bird Jake, enclosed in this package are all of the remaining remaining Abeka books I have. Uh, I have annotated all of them except for the two chapter books. The chapter books are excellent at showing the religious rites fascination with the pioneer days and manifest destiny, but are relatively dogma-free, so read them at your own discretion. After breaking out of evangelical Christianity, I went through a Catholic phase as a teenager. I managed to get my hands on a rosary, catechism, and a copy of Theology of the Body, which is the official Catholic curriculum to teach teenagers about sex. I didn't make much headway in the workbook myself, but even a quick glance will show that it's chock full of Catholic rhetoric and presupposition. I felt it was only fair to send this along with a Becca books for you to pick apart. The rest of this box is just videos and CDs from when I was a kid and more drinks for you to try, uh, which I have one of them over there. It's a ginger ale. I have not tried it yet. I'll try it on stream or something. There's only one. This is the uh, third grade science book. Real quick, I'm just going to read one of the quizzes in here. Okay, I'm not done yet. Hold on. Okay. I appreciate you both reading through these ex and exposing the damage that these Christian curricula can do. I know most people have good intentions when sending their ch children to these private schools, but the black and white mentality they promote and the focus on absolute obedience to God is not healthy to a young child's psyche and is not conductive for teaching critical thinking skills. I apologize to Jake for making him eat moon pies. I just couldn't think of a better food to represent the Southern Appalachians. Please take the drinks in this package as a token of my forgiveness. Lots of love, Sophie. So Sophie is the one who sent these books as well. Yeah. So Sophie has done the Lord's work. Thank you, Sophie. So here's one of the quizzes. Let, let's see if any of these questions jump out as odd for a science <laughs> book. What are the three main parts of the nervous system? Okay. What does the brain do? Alright. What's the most special part of God's creation? <laughs> what enables us to enjoy God's world? The nervous system is the answer, in case the you're nervous wondering. System. The nervous system is what enables us to enjoy to God's enjoy world. enjoy God's world. Whew. Evie Harris, I cannot ignore your $10 New Zealand oh, money. Oh, listen to this. Chat. You're wonderful and I love you. What parts of the body are designed especially to help us react to things around us? What kind of question is that even? That doesn't mean anything. That's just like a very vague... The answer is eyes, I guess. <laughs> Name the five most important senses. Eyes, ears, mouth, skin, nose. Th those are your sense organs, not your senses, you dumb shit third grader. When, are you, when your eyes are open, what are they constantly doing? Seeing. Seeing is the answer? Seeing is the answer. I'm very excited to explore these again. Third I grade was rough, man. I know I'm making fun of a third grader. I don't feel good about it. Don't feel bad about it, but... Nah. How do you feel bad about it? Hey, do you want to see the inside of this box? Check it. Check it out. Someone asks what the cat's name is. Ellie! Her name is Ellie. You gonna move? Good. Okay. Ugh. Let's see. Do you want something that looks like a Unabomber sent it or something from Amazon Prime? Unabomber. Unabomber? I, I figured your self-hatred would get the better of you at some point. It tends to. Yeah. 
Furious Hobbit 1313. Super cat, super chat for cat treats. Hope y'all got my gift for you. Maybe. I don't know. Uh. Okay, I'll I'll prep this for you as well. This is from Bina. Someone asks Ellie with two L's and an I E or. Yes. Okay. Someone's very concerned about the spelling of your cat's name. I guess so. I'm happy for them. All right. Ellie is a. Uh, she's she's a cat. She's definitely a cat. I like the cat more than your dog. Have I ever told you that? Yeah, but you... That's true, and I wish your dog spoke English so I could tell him that. That's fine. Okay, so there's, uh... There's illustrations on the inside. Here you go. It's all yours. It didn't blow up. Good. It did not blow up. Yet. It would have been my fault, right? Uh, it's got, uh, writing on it. I don't know, uh, what you have... I don't know... Oh, God. I don't know... Oh, what? I don't know what you have a say. It makes no difference anyway. Whatever it is, I'm against it. And even once you've changed it, condensed it, I'm against it. I'm opposed to it. On general principles, I'm opposed to it. Groucho Marx. It's a quote from Groucho Marx. And a picture of Groucho Marx. This person enjoys Groucho Marx. I feel like we've gotten a, pa a package from this person before. Maybe? That was startling. <laughs> Evie Harris. Will you, will you ignore me now? What the fuck, please? What, uh, Paul, what happened to the three box cutters I gave you? They're right there. Think I'm handing this guy a box cutter? Hey, I used to work in a place where I used a box cutter very often. Only cut myself, like, once every two weeks. It's totally fine. You I go used to Jake. do that same job, and I never one time cut myself. <laughs> What the fuck? For years before you even touched... Oh my goodness. I'm really glad this is working out. Oh god. Here are some books from my parents. <laughs> immense collection. I hope you asked them and didn't just steal these. Uh, I hope they make you laugh. They made me angry, but I don't have as good a sense of humor as you. <laughs> you guys helped me alleviate life's pain. Oh. Wow, the whole of it? Ow, oh, the edge. Uh, I, seriously, I hope you're doing alright. Uh, <laughs> I'm trapped in my angry atheist phase. That's, we all kind I, not everyone. I certainly went through that. A lot of that. apostates go through that. I went through, not an angry atheist phase, because I wasn't angry at anybody, but I definitely went through that, uh, like, I remember when I found out people believe shit, and I was alone on an island in high school and shortly after, and I was like, mm -hmm. wait, what? You guys actually believe this shit? And they're like, yeah, obviously. Yeah. So, my, my, I went through a bewildered atheist phase where I was probably impolite to people going like, wait, the fuck? I can understand, especially, like, you get angry at the people who told you those things all those years. I think you get less angry about it once you come to terms with the fact that at the end of the day, they were told those things by someone when they were young, too. You know what I mean? It's typically not out of malice. Now, people like Joel Olstein who go out there and, like, clearly are using it to make money and shit, they're pieces of shit. Mm -hmm. But... Your average day-to-day -day Christian, probably a normal fine person, you know, I... <laughs> there's no reason to be just angry just because they have a different belief. It's okay. Uh, $2 super chat from Chris, and then a bunch of numbers. Thoughts on Zoroastrian faith. Uh, we brought it up uh, early on in the um, uh, Bible study a little bit, because uh, it's Persian, um, and... But... Um, uh, my thoughts on it are that it's, it's just like pre-Islamic, uh, it's see. monotheism, right? Yeah, it's just the Persian Empire's belief system. Uh, I mean, I don't know what to... The books we got, Best Kept Secrets of Judaism, Rambam. 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 R-A-M-B-A-M. Rambam. Maimonides, Introduction to the Misna. Let me see this shit. What the fuck is this? That person couldn't find a higher resolution picture for their book cover. No, no they couldn't. <laughs> Needs a little more JPEG. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, DMT, a, where is Kenneth? A concise exposition on Avinu Melkinu. Wow, your parents are like... Jewy. Your parents are like into some of this real, deep shit. Real Jewish. I... I like, like, this is, this is like... Uh, It'll be alright. The I Baptist know. version of, of Jewish. 
Music and the Kabbalah. Music and Kabbalah. Oh, are they... Are your... Are your parents... They're not Hasidic. No, no, no. That's not what Kabbalah is. Kabbalah is that... Um, oh, oh, it's the red bracelet It's uh, the thing Madonna. Madonna did for a while. <laughs> yeah, it might be. Yeah, cool. How to prevent an intermarriage? What does that mean? A guide for parents to prevent broken hearts. This is this is how to prevent your Jewish children from getting married to a non-Jew. This book is a must for anyone who cares about the survival of the Jewish people and who wants to do something about it. You know what this is? Just change some words. This book is a must for anyone who cares about the survival of the white race and who wants to do something about it. That's the kind of shit this com sounds like to me. This is fucking crazy. Oh, this does sound terrible. Dude, you come from a fucking... Yeah, this note extrapolates further. And maybe there's... maybe we do help with the world's pains. I understand your boy. anger. I get it. This sounds terrible. He says, a while back there wasn't food in the house uh, on, a, on, on a yam tov. I'm I assume it's a fast. Sure. I wanted to fry some mushrooms, so I did. My schizo-religious extremist brother caught me and began screaming at me that I was going to hell. That's weird. I thought Jews didn't, like... Uh, I think hell was a thing. He threatened me. I guess that's probably a sect thing, depending on the yeah. sect of Jews. Uh, he threatened me with the frying pan. My mom... I'm sorry to laugh at that. You see how that's humorous, right? He threatened you with a frying pan, like Wilma on the Flintstones? Not fun while you're there. Fun, no. f fun to watch. My mom came in, uh, dumped my mushrooms into the filthy sink. Oh... This sounds like a really terrible situation, it sounds actually. sounds abusive. It does. I almost don't want to read it out loud because it feels exploitative. No, I'll read this later. This sounds very personal. Well, I'm reading it right now okay. a little bit, but yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's sad, man. Definitely, I agree with you. This is this is some hardcore Judaism. At the very least, I can say to you, uh, things might be hard now, and I know it's going to be rough living with people with such extremist views and who seem to not respect your own autom autonomy in that manner mm -hmm. uh at the end of the day as you get older you're going to be able to separate yourself from those people if you choose to and that'll be a great experience for you mm -hmm. i want to read the end of this a little bit okay uh it's a little bit of a downer but it has a positive there's some positivity in here to glean um at the end of this is basically a story about um the stuff this person's going through right now um I don't know how to laugh and use comedy like you. I want you guys to learn how, and you always make me so happy. I don't want to be an asshole atheist. I want to be charming and funny like you. Maybe in time, once I'm financially independent. Um, it is tough, uh, whether it's Judaism or, or... It doesn't even have to be a religious-based family. It could just be any abusive situation, which I do find this to be abusive. That's amazing. Do you see the title of this? amazing, no. Uncle Moishi and the Mitzvah Men. I saw the Mitzvah Men. I didn't see Uncle Moishi. I couldn't read it. Yeah. That's great. Do we have... No, we're going to have to get a cassette No, wait, wait, wait. Didn't, uh... No, Paul, no, that that's was a recorder. That's for mini cassettes. Ooh, I need a regular... Is that just a... What's this? Oh, Shabbat.com. Join the largest Jewish social network today. A free Shabbat meal? With Rabbi Klatsko and family in Muncie, New York. Rabbi Klatsko and family in Muncie, New York. Just sign up for Shabbat.com. Find Benzie and Klatsko and click host me. There you go. So, uh, anyway. Uh, you live in New York. Um, there are a lot of ex-Jews in New York. There are a lot of places to find support. And I know that um, it doesn't sound like because of your access to the internet, it doesn't sound like that you are, you come from a Hasidic family, but it does sound like you come from, might as well be. Um, so I do suggest looking, in, and I know not, not everywhere is New York City um, in New York. I actually don't know where Monsby, New York is, but um, there, is, there are places in New York outside of the city that do offer... Um, you know, counseling or just a group se group sessions, just people that are also like you that aren't Jewish or aren't faith. You know, sometimes people say they're culturally Jewish and not not uh, religiously Jewish, which I don't know how you identify. Doesn't matter. But um, however, you might you might find people that can help in the area. I would strongly suggest it. Um, 
I don't know off the top of my head. I was talking about this last night. If you watch one of us on Netflix that is about um, ex Hasidim, I believe they have uh, resources. resources at the end of that film. So if you just want to Google that, or just Google in your area any sort of ex-Jew you know, um, resources. There's probably people out there for you. As far as the comedy is concerned, there's a reason, uh, reason, there's a reason a lot of Jewish comics exist. It's because when, when you just, like, when you can stand back from it and you're not being actually, like, mistreated anymore, you can look back on it and go, like, there's a joke in there, which is why he, he laughed. There's a joke about the time your brother chased you around with a frying pan because you made mushrooms. You know what I mean? There is a joke there. Yeah. And that's something that I think you can latch on to. And it's not funny thinking about your personal experience, but take a step back from it and look at it from anyone else's perspective and try to find the joke in there. And that's how... I don't know if either of us are necessarily charming, uh, but we're, I think we're funny. So, And you seem to agree. So that's how. It's kind of like stepping away from yourself for a little bit and being able to see why why something is, you know while terrible funny you gotta accept the absurdity of yeah because that is that's, that's an, an absurd, absurd situation absolutely absurd and it shouldn't have happened to you but it did so there's there's a lot of people you can you can lament about it um i mean we all do it but even so anything we lament about like we make dad jokes all the time about us like neither of us are happy that our dads are pieces of shit but it's kind of funny that they're hypocrites a little bit you know so it's uh, it's just one of those things. It's something you can, um, I don't know, tap into. I think is kind of the way to do it. And also, since you're in the New York area, uh, not necessarily again, not necessarily New York City, there is still a strong comedy scene outside of the city. And so, if you want to try your hand at a, uh, uh, you know, open mic night at a local bar or something, you might you might find that you really enjoy it, and it could be a really good way to escape. Someone sent me denim! Oh, fuck you. <laughs> I don't like that someone encouraged that. I do like that they listened to that interview with the fan. These are overalls. You got denim overalls, or is that a No, that's a denim bib. Is it a bi oh, it's like an apron! It's like an apron. Do you cook? No. We gotta get you to cook so you can you can wear your apron. Denim apron. What's this one? Oh, and this one's just a... That one's a camo. Camo apron? There's definitely someone in there. Uh, and there's notes. Uh, a tactically advantageous camo-colored apron for Jake. Yes. I hope this is your first camo item. It's my only camo item. <laughs> Wait, is this from, uh... And a glorious denim apron for because Hugo's new obsession from, uh, Marina. Marina? Oh, so it wasn't... Furious it? Hobbit 1313, who was here, actually, I believe. Yeah, Thank we got you. your... Uh, read the notes! Yeah, just talking about it right now. Yeah, yeah we're reading the notes. Thank you so much. So, it, it, Furious... I feel like I've talked to you before. Anyway, uh, you listened to the interview with... Um... Oh, now I'm forgetting his name. No, I spelled his name wrong the first time and it was bugging me. Fuck. We're terrible people. No, I forgot his name because I want to keep calling him Craig. Because I went to Craig. school with a person named Craig who spelled their name wrong. Well, wrong. Atypical. <laughs> with uh, a K. Is that Retro Games Queen? RGQ. Hi, lads. I'm late and I'm a bad fan. It's okay. You have my phone number, so you don't have to anymore. Um, what is Jake wearing? It's invisible. <laughs> so. Are pandas kosher? Yeah. Uh, probably. They, they, they don't have clothes. They don't chew cud. Yeah. They're good. Uh, yeah, I think they'd be kosher. You could eat a panda. I mean, you shouldn't eat a panda. Okay. Uh, but you could, uh, and not break Jewish law, I guess. I think I'm going to let you double tap, because I have... I, I think I'm... This is, I wish I had a wood shop. This would be an amazing wood shop apron. It would. Get a wood shop. Just wear this shit so, so I can go out to my wood shop. So I think... I, I think, like woodworking. I think I'm the only one that has been opening the fall packages lately. And so I want I want to grant you this one. Okay. So we're gonna double tap you. Did you see? This uh, is a Paul package. I have no idea what's in here. Did you oh. see? By the way, Nick Offerman from Parks and Rec uh, is doing uh, like a, a woodworking show, and he's the host now. Well, yeah, he's owned the woodworking shop for ages. You don't know that? It's a new show that's gonna be coming out. No, I mean, but his workshop. Did you not know he had a wood shop? 
I know he's really into woodworking, and I know he's really excellent at it. I've heard him talk about it before. Yeah, like he's, he's not in character. He's and, had, uh, yeah, he's uh, Nick Offerman has had a a, a a real working, operating with employees oh, yeah. workshop uh, that sells really expensive but very nice uh, handmade tables handmade and stuff, tables and, and all sorts of shit. So here's a here's a Paul box. Ba, 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 Paul box. Read if you can the Paul Allen. Oh my fucking god. This isn't binary. It's in goddamn binary. God damn it, Paul. You know what this makes me think of? Written with fountain pen, the Paul Allen. Hold on, let me fucking translate this. Oh god. No, I have a picture app that I can take pictures of things and it'll... Oh. Okay. I don't know if it'll work Science for... has gone too far. I don't know if it'll work for binary. It works for other languages. I don't know if it'll recognize... <laughs> Miss Alfaba, how do I respond to family members saying, we respect your non valise respect ours whenever I question their religion? Uh... I mean... Wouldn't... Do they respect your non-belief? Also, also, I think if you don't do it... <sighs> People are sensitive as fuck about that, so if you do it in a way... This is gonna be loud. If you do it in a way that is non-confrontational, I don't know why they wouldn't answer. Just be like, I am being respectful because I want to know. I want to learn about your, your shit. I want to know why you believe the things you believe. I wouldn't ask you if I didn't find it important to ask you or if I didn't respect you enough to ask you instead of making assumptions. Stuff like that, you know what I mean? Like, be honest with them. Like, try to... You know, I also think though, at the end of the day, some people just don't want to have that conversation, and if they don't, it you, is, can't, you can't force it on them. <laughs> it is scary for some people to have that conversation because they know that you're. <sighs> There's, it's kind of that thing that also like makes Christians sad when people die, like part of them part... knows it's not necessarily based on evidence; it's a faith-based thing, and then yeah. there's potential doubt. Yeah, it's not taking a picture. Weird. It's not taking a picture. It's not even zooming in. You know what, sometimes I gotta take a picture and then import it to the app. Okay. I hope that works. That'd be interesting. Yeah. Stop showing off, Paul! <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh, you wanna start looking at this stuff while I do that? Sure. Oh, this reminds me of, um... The uh, Flight of the Concords. You ever heard the um, the robot song? Zero 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 no. zero one zero 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 one one. No, it didn't translate it. Shit, I'm gonna have to do it later. It is the future, the year two thousand. Uh, reusable mess produce sacks. I'll actually use these. Not kidding. Nice. I like produce. A salty book. This one's in really good condition, yeah, actually. It's in really good condition. It looks like it was a library book or something. Maybe a school library book or something. Did. And this one's all about charity, church house, and hey, there's another Paul picture. Paul! With his husband. When I was three years old, you won a baseball? He won baseball. Why send me this? This should be a treasured a token of your of your stuff. From Houston, Texas. That's nice, Paul. Also drop this. What is this? Oh! I got Kama Sutra condoms that are old as shit. <laughs> Ugh, gross. What? It's an alligator head. It's an alligator head? It smells a little bit. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's preserved, I'm sure. It is. I've had one of these before. Yeah. It smells a little bit, though. What's wrong with that? Nothing. I just wasn't expecting it. It took me off guard. Oh, it does smell. The smell hit me, and oh. I was like, ah! Yeah, right? That does smell. I'm going to keep... It's cool, but I'm going to... Yep. <laughs> I don't think they preserved that one quite enough. <laughs> Needs more preserved. A little bit. Oh. Oh, did you send me ramen? Why is this hot chicken flavored ramen two times the spice? Uh, just one asbesto. <laughs> nice. Instead of asbestos. Uh, I saw Jordan Peterson on the subway today. What should I have done? You should have wept at him. Did you really? That'd be great if it was true. Uh, when God doesn't make sense, a VHS tape. <laughs> of... Yes. Of an Austin Powers Q. 
keychain. I think that's from the spy who shagged me. Let's 1998. See. No, that's the original, I think. Is it? Yeah. Uh-oh. What is this? Oh, no, it talks. Oh, wait. It doesn't anymore. That's probably why he sent us to us. Prem with baked ham seasoning. Is this is this just like spam, but Prem? Oh, you can hear it a little bit. It sounds like Mike Myers is like having a stroke. Paul has used that too much. <laughs> I can imagine 1998 Paul being like, this is never going to get fucking old. Just a hamburger helper meat chopper. I'll use this. I'll chop meat with it. I'm with that. A Mississippi keychain. There you go. What is that weird log? This is a pe You're exactly right. It's a pecan log roll. Pe pecan. pecan. You have to say log. pecan because it's from the south. Okay, we gotta try this pecan log roll that is clearly too old. When was this made? When was this? When was this created? That's the question. <laughs> uh. Here's a Jimmy Swagger tape. Oh, this is good until two months ago. <laughs> That's fine. You ready for this pecan log? Oh, God. Paul, why would you send us your old student ID? Now I can impersonate you. <laughs> Let me see. Wow, look at that young Paul Allen. Oh, boy. Pre-beard Paul? Baylor University. Okay, if you take a bite from this side, it'll be fresh. Don't say no, you little bitch. What's in it? Pecans and whatever that stuff is. What is it? I don't know. Nougat? I don't like pecans. I don't care. Are you allergic? Not to my knowledge. I don't think so. Take a little bite. People like these? Nope. Moon Gardens keychain. Why do you buy so many keychains if you don't want them? Oh. <laughs> That's the third fucking keychain in this box. Get your key situation together. Or do you have so many keys it necessitates multiple rings? I don't know. Pecan log roll. This is These are the oldest. By the way, they're for her pleasure. Paul, you fucking imposter. I'm on to you. The ribs don't know if it's a butthole or not. The it's ribs, fine. The ribs don't know if it's a butthole. This is pretty great. Jimmy is still crying on TV. The Paul Allen... Mouse pad. Kaleidoscope mouse pad. Nice. By the way, um, for this month's patrons, uh, they're in the mail right now. I tried to fit the um, Paul Allen signed things into the mailbox, or the, the, the letters... But our envelopes were too small, so next time we're going to get slightly larger envelopes to fit them in, hopefully. But this is cool. It's real thick. Did we ever use the poppers you got? No, they're sitting right over I'm there. I'm not using the poppers! Sir, that is drugs. Drugs are bad for you. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, let me, let me move all this. All this. Let's move it off. There we go. Okay. All right. Got this box today. He's a big boy. Say who it's from? Nope. Go. It says fragile, though. So hopefully, it was handled with the care. Uh, can you hear that? And your dog's just freaking the fuck out. Run Sarah around. just let the dog out. And he's been cooped up for a little bit. Hey. Will this be up to watch later? Yes. Can you calm down? Yes, it will. It'll be up immediately. It should be. <laughs> hey, buddy. It takes a little while to process the live streams, but after that, it'll be up. Yeah. Oh, by the way, since we're, uh, we just started the New Testament, if you missed that yesterday. Yeah. Uh, so check that out. And then uh, <sighs> later in the week, we should have another Peterson video. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Let's get that out of here. Ooh, a handwritten scroll. Dear Hugo and Jake, I present to you a Georgian soft drink that is just as old as Coca-Cola and just as interesting and unique in taste. 
Tarhun, or Georgian Lemonade, was first created in Georgia in 1889 and commercialized and popularized within the Soviet Union during the 1980s. I think both of you will enjoy this soft drink, and I recommend you try it cold. The colder the drink is, the more dynamic and pronounced the tarragon flavor would be. However, before you do consume it, a quick word of precaution. I noticed that you're mostly drinking calorie-free soda in your videos. Be advised that the nutrition label states that the calories per 100 milliliters, where each bottle has 500 milliliters, making each bottle 225 calories each. The final thing, in your JBP video discussing his lobster nonsense, you guys said something about vegans being in favor of the hunting and gathering era. Why would vegans desire that, as amount of food choice, and so does pretty much every other vegan? Did we say that? I don't remember that. Uh, something to the effect, I think. So what was the reasoning behind such statement exactly? Anyway, enjoy this tarragon soda, and if you guys desire more, I will be happy to send it in another cache. There's also a pear-flavored soda, too, if, you'll, if you'd like to try that. I can send some of... That as well. Sincerely, Satanic Cabal. Uh, Snurd Burglar had a super chat. Said, I don't know what poppers are, but I demand you use them because I've paid you money. No. <laughs> poppers? And then, Wouldn't uh, they make us want to fuck butts did, uh, with one another? So it's, and then Prophet of Cthulhu says, did Jesus have a dragon? There is actually a non-canonical story in which Jesus meets a dragon. We might cover that at some point. Okay, so this is apparently... Some Russia drink. Oh god, are we gonna get, like, fucking radiation poisoning and die a horrible death? Noctari, Georgian lemonade. So, Georgia the country, not the state. Okay. Paul Allen. Boom, the Paul Allen out. Peace and love. Always ask yourself, what would the Paul Allen do by Paul? Thanks for being here. Thanks, Paul. Okay, I guess he says cold, but I want to, let's just pop this bad boy open and give it a shot. It's just tarragon flavored, which, if you don't know what tarragon is... I don't. It's an herb. It's an interesting way to open a bottle. Uh, Bundaberg um, ginger ale has the same tops. A little black licorice-y. Oh, oh no. But only a little. Tarragon. That is extremely interesting. It doesn't taste like black licorice. It smells like it. Doesn't taste like it. Oh, God, I hope not. Uh, it's fucking a drink. Are you I kidding know. me? No, I, I was sick earlier today, so I'm just... Tender. I don't want to fucking barf everywhere. <laughs> I don't like it. Take another drink. Why? Try everything twice! It's fucking terrible. I think it tastes like licorice. It's bad. <laughs> you tried it twice. You dick. <laughs> Ugh. Sorry. Tastes too licorice-y for me. It doesn't taste like black licorice. It tastes like definitely tarragon. Lemonade! Is there lemon in this? I didn't taste any lemon. Right. I. I... It does have lemon acid. Now, he did say... Try it cold. The colder it is, the better. So I will have to try this cold. This is interesting. I've never had anything even close to this. It's weird. It is super weird. So if... You you uh, you did promise interesting and unique. And that delivered. Anyway. I think that's it. Because everything that else in there is just this. All right. Just uh, uh, many bottles of this. We'll go for like, I don't know, five more minutes. If oh. you guys just want to ask us stuff yeah. or talk or whatever. You guys I meant to it, us, yeah. not to each other. Yeah, so uh, if you have uh, any questions, please, please uh, do so. We will definitely read Super Chats and we'll try to read anything that seems interesting. So if your non-interesting question gets skipped over, Super Chat will, ha will be forced <laughs> to read it. Um... Pop the bubble wrap. I'll give a I'll give a couple bubble wrap pops for you. This is that really satisfying bubble wrap too. Ha! Oh. Good like bubble wrap. I'm pretty neutral on it. You don't get any catharsis out of that? 
No, I don't like loud poppy noises. But they're, you're doing it yourself. Yeah, I just don't like it. Are you autistic? Probably. Oh. That might do it. Poppers the bubble wrap. That was a little forced, but all right, I accept. Fuzzy here, cat. Here, give yourself, give yourself a, a, just a good, just a good one. Pick any of them. That was pretty satisfying, wasn't it? Not a fan. Uh, how much for that Godzilla shirt? How much for that Godzilla? Like, gonna... are they trying to buy it from you? you I'm not gonna sell you the shirt anymore. Go go to where'd you get it from? Amazon or something? No, I think I got this at the mall. Oh, that's a that's Matthew Broderick. No, it's not. That's Matthew Broderick uh, Godzilla. No, it's not. Are you sure? Look I'm at the sure. face. That's not what that one looked like. Isn't it? Okay. If it is, I feel ripped off. Uh oh, wait. Leo wait. Totopolis. What? Boom! The Paul Allen in the his house. He sent that to my WhatsApp. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, we're not going to do the poppers. <sighs> Especially not on camera. Uh, uh, Satan, hey, you go and Jake, we might send a package to you guys, but for now, can the 2021 psychology class of the University of Toronto get a shout out? Shout out, University of Toronto psychology class 2021. No other majors, how you, though. How are you enjoying your Jordan? How are you enjoying Dr. Peterson's class? Oh, fuck! Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so... Um... How much for the Golden Girl shirt? I'll send you my worn Golden Girl shirt for $5,000. <laughs> he won't wash it either. It'll, no, it'll, it'll be worn. I'll, right now... It'll uh, maintain his musk. From the, from the time I get a payment to my PayPal... I won't wash it. I'll make sure to wear it beforehand so it has my musk on it. And I'll I'll sign it in the collar for $5,000. That's my price. Take it or leave it. Drake Damon. What if that motherfucker buys my $5,000 shitty shirt? Whatever. I'm going to go buy, go to Target and get my other one for 15 bucks. Yeah. Uh, hey. Dra oh, go ahead. Hey, guys. Love everything you do. Quick question. Trying to grow a beard. At which point will I stop looking like a sad teenager? And more like you sexy That's devils. more for you. I've always been able to grow a beard. I'm still waiting. I still think this looks like garbage. I hate it. You hate your beard? Yeah. You look a lot better with a beard than without it. I hate it. Well. Okay. We love you and Jordan. Don't do that. You have to pick. Because he's wrong. Um, Jordan for the memes. That, oh, okay. I accept. Us for the memes too, though. <laughs> right? Uh... Uh... The Golden Girls were their childhood crushes, someone says. Oh, okay. who are you going with? I can't. Gotta be up here so they can see. Betty White. Betty White? That's the that's a lame answer. You gotta you gotta go you gotta go here. Who am I pointing at? Uh the one who played Maud in the show. You gotta Maud. go with Maud! She wasn't Maud on this show. Oh. But Oh. I, I forget know. her name. She's dead. Anyway. Speaking of musk, would you guys ever bottle up your musk for the fans? I guess I don't know how to extract that other than literally bottling sweat. I think that's what it is. Huh? Uh, Molly Sisson, nothing to say. Just love you guys. Hey, I love you back. Thank oh. you for the $2. I appreciate you. <laughs> Hugo Beard Watch. Now Hugo Beard Suicide Watch. That's funny. Uh, I want to see Jake without the beard. Photoshopped or real either works. Go ahead and Photoshop. Actually, wait. Hold on. So the glasses don't fuck you up. You can Photoshop this if you'd like. There's also real pictures of me somewhere, but, like, yeah. I, it's been a while. When's the last time I didn't have a beard? Five, six years? When we were working it. Yeah, shit. Yeah. <sighs> I'd be loving me some grannies. Yeah, I don't think that would, uh, I'm not, I'm not with that. Maybe when I'm that age... I don't think so. Maybe when I'm real old, I'll be like, you know what? Well, no, you kind of you kind of evolve with your with your age, though. I think that'll stop at a certain point. You think so? Yeah. Well, I think I don't think people become unattractive at a certain age. You just go, there's that's not worth it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I think at like eighty, you're not gonna think, oh, that fifty year old banging. I think I think that is the case, though. I think that's exactly the case. Mm. Okay. Uh. I used to comment 
I'm used to comment sections being so autistic. This chat seems pretty chill. We do a pretty good job. Honestly, I will say, our chats are, whether it's in here, whether it's over on Unpop, or whether it's my Twitch streams, even my, even my Twitter comments, you guys are pretty dope. I think, I think we do a pretty good job being like, hey, if you're an idiot, you can fuck off! You know what I mean? Yeah. I think we do a pretty good job. Uh, will we ever review Veggie Tales? At some point, maybe. I'd have to find the right one. Because those aren't typically, like, offensively bad or anything that we typically cover where it's at least, like, cringy bad. Veggie Tales is mostly just a Christian kids show that's pretty inoffensive, other than, you know, problem of evil stuff that's in anything related to Christianity <clears throat> inherently. True. Sure. Papa John's CEO quit after using the N word. He also just stepped down from he was he quit down as C, he stepped down as CEO and then he stepped down as a member of the board today. You know what would be a better business move for Papa John's? Good pizza. Yes, that's okay. exactly what I was going to say. That's what everyone says. <sighs> Been a fan of y'all for years from Ezra Cronfield. I'm in the LGBTQ community and you're on the last you're one of the at last atheist channels left that doesn't just talk about uh, the SJWs. Why was that in German at the end? I don't know. It was broken, broken English German. The SJWs. Because the SJWs, not all crazy. <laughs> yeah. Not all of them. Now, no. some people are like, calm the fuck down. It's okay. People can have dreadlocks. The other folks, pretty reasonable. You know who isn't great? Nazis. <laughs> so and now, no, 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 now people are gonna be like, ah, you call them Nazis? No, some people are actually Nazis. Well, Nazis, Richard colloquially, Spencer. Richard Spencer. Yeah, those people. Charlottesville. Um, anyone who's a white nationalist, basically, I'm against. That doesn't mean everyone that voted for Trump is a white nationalist. Um, it just has emboldened that group of people, yeah. and I'm really, really fucking against that shit. I'm just annoyed by it at this point. Yeah, it's... and so if you're if you're for, and that doesn't mean, um, like I was, what was it earlier today? I don't know if you're familiar with Dan Dan Errol on Twitter. He's garbage. Don't listen to him. Um, everyone's a Nazi if they're not super far left, right? I, he said that I was a white supremacist once. That's stupid. No, you're not. <laughs> Obviously I'm not. I'm just saying, like... Uh, snurd burglar. Am I the only person who's pointed out that Jordan Peterson is basically just tedious, infantile Tyler <laughs> A little bit, yeah. yeah. I should watch Fight Club again. So Mega Light Master, I'm a fan of your work. Thank you. I'm a fan of that comment. Yeah, me Good too. Good job. Um, can we get a VeggieTales Jonah review? Maybe. Oh, the movie? Yeah. Again, then. Same with the other VeggieTales stuff. Like, it's... I don't like it, but, like... It's not, like, offensive. It's just a kid's Bible story show that, like, for the most part, as far as compared to, like, the salty stuff we watch, or even stuff like the Donut Man, VeggieTales has always been pretty good as far as, like... It has a Christian message, but, like, the good parts of Christianity. Like, hey, be nice to other people. You know what I mean? Uh, so, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, I don't know if we'll do that. But we'll do something VeggieTales related at some point. There's got to be something out there. I just know VeggieTales now, it's so divorced from the concept it originally was. VeggieTales is still on, but it's no longer a Christian show. It's just a kid show on Netflix. So, I don't know. Fuzzy Cat. I think everyone will agree with me. Fuck social politics. I have to know what you mean by that. What do you What do you think it means? Let's go with your definition of social politics. When I hear someone say something like that, typically, um, it, it's sometimes it's when politics or identity politics or anything gets brought up in any capacity. Sure. But the thing is, inherently, especially when you're talking about pretty much anything that's of any consequence, unless you're talking about... See, I was even going to say movies or video games, but those are important cultural things that help shape how we yeah. see society. Um Inherently, most things we do as human beings, I think, are political. When we're talking about, like, topics and talking about stuff. Because inherently, when you're talking about interactions of other people with each other, it's going to have something to do with politics, with identity, with different groups or whatever. So, if you're saying, like, I just don't... Taking any political stance or people bringing up politics at all, that in and of itself is still taking a stance. It's taking a stance to intentionally avoid topics of discussion that may actually be relevant. Yeah. Right. 
Crin McFluff, hey my dudes, how you doing? I mean, I ain't nothing special, just wanted to feel kind of special. You're special to me. Um, how is you guys? I'm cool, I'm good, kinda wanna date Hugo. Ha hashtag senpai. Notice please, send help. Yeah, that was that was pretty much as autistic as we ever get. Yeah. But I appreciate your ten dollars. Uh, Mrs. Attila, hey Hugo, I was late to Witcher 3 too. I played it twice through since my DLC in a month unemployed. How'd you like it? I don't think you uh, went ham after it, did you? Uh, no, I've been playing it. Not as much, though. I got, um... Uh, I've been playing some other game. What the fuck have I been playing? Oh, I've been playing Just Cause 3 for a while, but, Ooh. um... I like the Just Cause... It, I like... Sometimes I like games that are, like, They're you're so... not into it. Because you know I watch yeah. TV sometimes when I play games. So that's, like, a game I put I on know. when I'm just, like... Because it's a game that's not, like, story or whatever. You're just blowing shit up. I like that, but I, I like to focus on that i don't know i listen to music sometimes when i play games but hey can you fuck off no okay you can't fuck off but witcher 3 is really good very excited for cyberpunk 2077 uh farah thanks to the twitch stream last night the D, &D campaign i in has gained another member so thanks jake for bringing nerds together happy to help uh we are we are D, &D nerds ourselves whoa it's so cute Okay, can you go? Go on. Go. Good boy. Uh, a lot of talk about Steve Shives. Yeah. I've been watching the Star Trek series. Is it good? I like when he talks about Star Trek. It's really Me good. Me too. He had a good one about, uh, you know, we've had that transporter debate. He had a really good video about it, actually. It, he He's usually up, wrong about movies, he, though. I, I disagree with him on a lot of things in movies because he, like, likes Ang Lee Hulk, and I disagree entirely on that he likes uh, superman returns I... <sighs> but anyway put up against man of steel i guess uh, the man of steel's fucking but that's not that shit. wasn't his argument during anyway uh but uh yeah he basically brings up a lot of canon actual like here's when this happened and how it was interpreted here and there and it was pretty interesting so what's the difference between shives and sargon you should watch about 30 seconds of each of them <laughs> now that's not to say. <laughs> I don't think Steve likes us very much, and that's okay. I don't give a shit. Uh, I don't think Sargon likes us very much at this point either. That's fine, uh, and that's also fine. Uh, not, not, not a real big fan of of uh, definite. I think, I think Steve and I are closer than farther away. I'm definitely closer ideolo yeah. ideologically to Steve than I am to Sargon. Yeah, it's that's just what I'm that saying. Steve ends up blocking people steve, steve doesn't like the conversation at all and he's he's really intolerant of like of like anything that even if he misinterprets it which he has done i think he gets frustrated too easily and decides to just yeah, blow he, up the conversation he, he, he instead kind, of he, actually he, handling he kind it. of starts vibrating and then it shuts up it shuts down but sargon on the other hand um uh, come on man <laughs> yeah no 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 anyway no, i'm good um Jose Cavallo, 499. Both sides play identity politics and should be as racist. What? And it should be as racist when the left do it as when the right claims white people are just better. Uh, I, sometimes, I understand what you're saying. I don't know that Steve does that too much. I haven't watched him in a long I've time. I've watched a lot of that. A stuff lot of that is like... I've stuck to the Star Trek white, stuff specifically. White males are inherently bad. I understand how you could... Un how you could Say, like, hey, that's fucking wrong, just inherently. I get it. I agree with you. Um, Eli, $5. What do you think JVP would think of me? A pregnant trans man with a cis husband. We're reproducing via peen and vag, but I identify as a man. Uh-oh. You, sir, are a problem for the, for the <laughs> metaphorical substrate of whatever he thinks. Satanic Cabal, 5 Hey, Hugo, please consider trying that tarragon soda... When it is cold, seriously, the taste of soda improves exponentially when it is cold. I will chill some at some point. If you point. put it in the fridge, I'll try it again. James Pinto. Uh, are those R Russian Russian $10? What's, I don't know. what's that R? I don't know. Jake, you are a sexy beast. I would worship you in my bedroom. I'm good, James, but I thank you. <laughs> you can still do it. You can, you can f find yourself a nice bearded young man. Uh, and... Uh, Sargon is a prat? I don't know what that means. That's British stuff. I don't know what you guys are talking about. 
Uh, someone says they hate the new Klingons in Star Trek Discovery. I like the new Klingons in Star Trek Discovery. Rubies. I think the makeup, or the makeup's really good. Uh, I don't like the show over... Well, okay. It's a complicated discussion on Star Trek Discovery. I think it has promise. I don't like Michael Burnham particularly as a main character. Sargon's um, got some odd opinions, but his actions are mostly okay. He joined UKIP. Come on, dude. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's night and day. Um, again, not not a big fan either way, really. But I'm more of a fan of Steve right now. We'll see. Because you know, I think I think what happened is Sargon Sargon leaned center. And then he started getting paid by the right, and he's like, ooh. <laughs> and I don't necessarily blame the game. I'm just saying, I don't know that his convictions are as strong as they are, and if they are, fine, whatever. But uh, either way, we are we are diametrically opposed as far as what we want for society at large. So we, I can't, I, sure. I can't possibly align with him in any way besides I had a nice time when he was on the Chick Tract. I thought Carl was a fine person. He was nice to us. He was kind. We had some laughs, and then it was over. That was it. After that, like, why? I've had better times with Steve on this show. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sex Abacus asks, Hugo, have you been watching Lindsay Ellis's The Whole Plate series? If so, what do you think? That's really good, actually. It's her um, video series where she's using the Transformers movies... Uh, the Michael Bay Transformers mm. movies, um, and using them as a stepping off point to talk about um, movies in general. So, like, one episode will be about auteur theory and how it applies to Transformers. She's gr her video essays know, are fucking great. It's I talked to, I actually talked to uh, Harris yesterday on DMs for a little bit. The amount of research, she does which is, is not crazy. Lindsay, but yeah. they're friends. Uh, uh, but I, I didn't watch her most recent one, which I think was about queer cinema theory, which is re in relation to how movies treat like gay characters. I haven't watched that one yet, but they're all really good. I'd recommend her channel a lot. Really great stuff. Mm. William Brown, $20 super chat. What a spender. Thanks, William. Hey guys, question for you. Uh, though you say you're socially awkward, yet you have a girlfriend, do you have dating tips for people who aren't good at talking to other people? Uh, I don't think I'm socially awkward. Hugo says he's socially awkward, but as far as tips for dating, if you're not too good at talking to other people, text them. I also think it helps. What's helped me, I think. Yeah. Uh, I know I say, like, I'm an awkward person. but I, Well, I, if, doing this probably helps a lot. Yeah, but if you frame it that way, it makes you think, what's even the point of trying? I'm an awkward person. Instead, label yourself maybe as someone who needs to work on their social skills. By the way. And mm -hmm. it's a skill that you can develop over time. For the record, if you're William, I assume... I assume... Uh... Because you mentioned having girlfriend, you're looking for a girlfriend, you are straight. Um, either way, this applies to both, even if you're gay or whatever, it doesn't matter, pan. Sure. Um, the odds that someone else is going to be awkward in that situation is is very, very much, like, yeah. up, like it's up there. Not, <laughs> people aren't just like, I'm not like, I don't go around and go like, hey girl, That's we should not... date. No, I become friends with a person. And then, and then usually feelings develop. It's not because that's movies and stuff portray relationships very different than they are in real now, life. Now, dating apps and stuff make it interesting yeah. because you can talk to a lot of people. But you can meet someone on Twitter. You can meet someone in the chat here. You can meet someone on our Discord, discord.me slash Hugo and Jake. I got your shout out, RGQ. And um, so, yeah, I mean, just in, the internet has changed it a lot. You can kind of have a little more confidence knowing that you can bail out of the conversation at any yeah. point. Um, you know, uh, I don't know. It's 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 interesting. Will Kyle Kalinske come back on? Says Prophet of Cthulhu for a dollar ninety nine. Um, I think so. At He's just point. been busy and shit, and I haven't asked him. I haven't talked to Kyle in a couple of weeks, months. Yeah. Uh, Rusted Rooster, what is it you think of the movie? Uh, what do you think of the nineteen ninety four movie Ed Wood? Ed Wood's. Um, let me think. Actually, is it my favorite um, Tim Burton movie? Ed Wood. I think Ed Wood's my favorite Tim Burton mm. movie. Sorry, man, go on. I'm trying to think of what else. Tim Big Fish. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Big Fish. Big Fish is my favorite Tim Big Burton Fish movie. and Ed Wood are both up there for me. I obviously like the 80s Batman, but it, you know, 
It's dated at this point. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Uh, have you seen Big Eyes? I think it's on Netflix. I haven't. It's, it's actually a recent Tim Burton movie. Yeah. Doesn't have Helen a bottom Carter. Wait, does it? Yes, it does. Fuck, she's in like one scene. She's a does friend or something. Does it have depth? Does not have depth. Is it because he punched his wife? I don't know. It might be. But um, it's actually... A Allegedly. Really, it's a fantastic movie, and it's not like... Like, if you didn't know it was a Tim Burton movie, you wouldn't know it was a Tim Burton movie necessarily, other than the themes being of about an outsider. Um, it's about, actually, do you know the story of um, the the woman who painted in the 60s and 70s those little oh, girls oh, with the giant eyes? I, I know Keen. of the story. Yeah, and her husband passed him off as his own yeah. like for decades, and then it went to court, and in court, they were like, okay, she was like, I want us both to paint in front of the courtroom and to prove I can do it and you can't. Right. It's a really good movie. That's cool. Yeah. Um, Jose Cavallo, it's pronounced Cavallo, and it's Italian. Uh, I assume, because of the, the, uh, proximity to Spain, um, that may, that may not historically be the case, but I will call you Cavallo. Um, that happens here too, we get anglicized, or, I, I think that's italicized. <laughs> um... But yeah, so I wouldn't be surprised if that's a Spanish name hereditarily. Although it couldn't, it, I could be wrong. Um, I just don't think I've ever heard that Italian. Usually they end in, you know, vowels and shit. Uh, William Brown, $20. Thanks, guys. I will try that. Sorry for the grammatical errors. Have another $20. Uh, I appreciate you well, twice. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know if there was grammatical errors. But, um, again, um, I don't know. Dating... It can be garbage, but, like, if you're talking to other people that are also trying to date, they're they're in the same boat as you. You know what I mean? Like, I think just, just talk to people and see what happens. And have... I think the biggest problem is the pretense that there is expectations. Sure. Like, uh-oh, it's the first date. What are the rules for a first date? Now, nah, just go with it. You can just have a really great conversation and never talk again. You never know. Or you could have a really terrible conversation and end up together. Who knows? It you know it, it could it could happen. So uh, yeah, just I wouldn't worry about it. Contra points for the win. Uh, she is very good at uh, at uh, putting together her 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 videos. I watch some contra points now and then. Um, do you prefer? That's a good question. Probably one of the last questions, unless we get a super chat. Yeah. Do you prefer to be known as the people that analyze the Bible or the ones that read the chick tracks? What do you? I I like the Bible study part. I'm gonna agree. Bible study. The chick tracks are fun, but the chick tracks are fun, but they're they're like pulp. Yep. Yeah. It's um, <laughs> it's the cheese not literally. On, kind yeah, of. It, it's the cheese on the burger. It's not the yeah. part that gives you sustenance. It's just like pumpkin. Yeah. yeah, it's good to have every once in a while, but sometimes you need a salad, right? Or you're gonna die. Trump's spiritual advisor says, "quote Jesus was a refugee, but did nothing illegal." End I quote. Saw that. Any take on that? That's an absurd statement because even within the context of the Bible, it's very clear he's doing things that are illegal in the region at the time, at the very least during the Roman occupation. Do you know he got cr crucified <laughs> for a crime that was illegal. Like you don't have to you agree idiot. with that, but fuck, yeah. it's in the story. I'd argue it's the most important part of that story: the crucifixion part. Yeah. Anyway. Also, okay. he fucking flipped over tables in the church. Yeah, he was a bad dude. Sometimes. I don't think Jesus was a bad dude as portrayed in the Bible. Fucking schizophrenic, as if he's being written by multiple people over centuries and centuries. Yeah, luckily we're doing the New Testament, so. Yeah. Oh, I think that's it, Darwin. You think that's it? Yeah, uh, oh, someone it. asked about the Quran Reloaded. We were getting strikes on that channel, so, oh, we're yeah, we can't even... so we're waiting for the strikes to run out, and then that'll come back. Yeah, but, you know, that's just how it works. Yeah. That's why it was on a different channel. We actually, I briefly brought up for just a second, it's like, hey, do you think we should just put that on TBR? And you're like, no. Glad I made that call. Yeah. <laughs> ContraPoints is cuter than Blair White Fight Me. Uh, I'm, I'm not a big fan of Blair's aesthetic. That's that's kind of not a very um, very uh, makeupy and very dressed up all the time and not very casual. I like I like you like it being a little I like more, more casual. Yeah, yeah, I like more casual. And I think I think um, Contra Points is very good at. Um, you know, I think one of her characters 
uh, recently because my girlfriend watch. Basically, if I watch if I watch a YouTuber, my girlfriend watches YouTuber, and I'm in the room because she casts it to the TV. Because sure. I don't really watch YouTube very often. Yeah. Um, Contrapoints had a character recently. It was um, a feminist versus a turf. <laughs> okay. And then Contra's got a you know the interviewer character. I can't remember the name. Anyway, um, that was a good look. That was a good look with the, the you know it was the typical flannel lesbian feminist person for the turf. Yeah. 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 Well, it was a it was a and then they had talk about the feminine penis because when you go on hormone <laughs> yeah. therapy you get a yeah so okay. anyway. Uh, and wait, end that sentence. I'm curious what you were, how were you, that, when you get a feminine penis, is that what you were going to say? Yeah, the, the penis starts to become smaller and That's and not different. true. It doesn't, no, it, I don't what think What are you talking shrinks. about? Yes, it, no, it does. She was, she was talking about it and she's like, it has it. She even went with, there's a different mouth texture. I think she knows more than either of us who are not transitioning. Well, that's, a, that's a skin thing because when you well, take that, start, that's you start okay. to, because the penis is mostly made it's of the like feminine penis. Okay. That's a 4chan meme, but all right. That's why she was making the I joke. I get it. Okay. Anyway. So, it changes it. the texture of the skin because uh, women have uh, typically have smoother skin than men. Uh, different uh, I guess I don't know. I don't know what makes skin different for men and women. H Bomber guy is the biggest of the anti anti feminist YouTubers. I think he'd be a great guest. I talked to him uh, yesterday for a little bit. Yeah. You guys don't watch enough transgender porn. Now that is something I can confirm is true. <laughs> I don't watch nearly enough. <laughs> What's enough? What's the? Uh, I don't okay. know. Enough to know about feminine penises, apparently. Yeah. Right? No, I don't watch. I'm not uh, surprised. Not a big fan of, of dicks. Not a big fan of them, so... Alright, that's it. Goodbye, the loves of my life. And someone asked about Jordan B. Peterson video. We're recording it tomorrow. Tomorrow, so it'll be up Saturday. Because we had we had a weird schedule this week, so... Yeah, and the uh, chapter is actually about, um... Friends and not like in high school! <laughs> yeah.